Good morning, everyone. Darius Dell here to present our Macro Minute for Thursday, December 16th, 2021. Starting with markets, we have stocks up, commodities up, crypto flat, global bond yields mixed with European yields up, U.S. and Japanese yields down. Uh, big movers this morning, you have both the DAX and Japan's, uh, Germany's DAX and Japan's Nikkei 225 uh, indices, both up 2%, copper up 3%, nat gas up 4%, and 10-year UK gilt yields up 7 basis points, big divergence from Treasury yields this morning. Uh, on the economic front, uh, you have flash PMI data for December point to a ubiquitous slowdown in the admittedly elevated pace of global growth. And that lends credence to our view that the post-Delta bounce in global high-frequency economic data likely peaked in November. Uh, so on the accelerating side, you have Germany manufacturing PMI, nothing unchanged. And in a lot of boatload of deceleration, Australia manufacturing, Australia services, Japan manufacturing, Japan services, France manufacturing, France services, Germany services, uh, Eurozone manufacturing, Eurozone services. UK manufacturing and, U and UK services. So clearly a lot of deceleration we saw in December. This is obviously pre-Omicron in terms of its impact on the economy. Uh, taking it to the chart here. Uh, so this chart we showed yesterday, uh, we were actually showing the US OECD composite leading index time series relative to the hot, that's the blue line here, the high beta, low beta ratio, uh, high beta stocks as a, as a ratio to low beta stocks. That's the black line there. I added in this chart this morning. So I changed the US to global. Uh, since we're talking about global growth this morning, that's the blue line here, global composite leading index time series, same high beta, low beta ratio, but I added Bitcoin relative to treasury bonds. And so, you know, one thing I've said, we talked about yesterday is that, hey, look, when the growth, global growth, so when U.S. growth slows, investors start to uh, deassign premium multiples to high beta assets and start to reassign premium multiples to low beta assets. And the same holds true with respect to crypto and treasury bonds. And so three times, you look at the last three global growth cycles, the peak of the global growth cycle coincided with the peak in the high beta, low beta ratio, but it also coincides with peaks in the Bitcoin to treasury bond ratio. And there's three times you've seen Bitcoin lose 85% of its value versus treasuries, another 85% of its value versus treasuries, and then 75% of its value versus treasuries. I think the bull case would be Bitcoin loses 65% of its value versus treasuries as this blue line, this global growth line starts to decelerate over the next 12 to 18 months. So be aware of that. Um, doesn't mean Bitcoin can't make new highs between now and March or February. Um, but, you know, that's um, in terms of the Fed opening the door for that. But you definitely need to uh, practice some precision and perfect. And you need to be perfect if you're going to sort of buy dips in a lot of high beta assets here. And we continue to sound the alarm bell as we get, you know, put, purge deeper into 2022. So be aware of all these these risks uh, with respect to today's probable range setups, uh, over, uh, overbought signal in the Aussie dollar, oversold signal in the VIX. Uh, bullish fams s p 500's got 4.1 percent downside with 2.9 percent upside uh bearish fams wti minus 18 percent downside versus one percent upside uh bloomberg dollar index that's bullish fams uh, minus 0.4 percent downside versus 1.4 percent upside bullish fams 10-year treasury yield minus seven base points of downside versus 28 base points of upside bitcoin neutral vams minus 12 percent of downside versus 15 percent of upside ethereum uh neutral vams minus 15 percent of downside versus 18 percent of upside and then lastly, gold minus 2.6% of downside versus 2% of upside, still neutral vans as well. So with that, Darius Dell dropping more knowledge darts on you this morning for our macro minute for Thursday, December 16th, 2021. Best of luck out there.